questions until the uh, end of the statement, end of the R statement. My last name is spelled B O Y D. On August 11th, 2014, at approximately 11:55 a.m., Marin County Communications received a 911 telephone call reporting that a male adult had been located unconscious and not breathing inside his residence located at 95 St. Thomas Way in unincorporated Tiburon, California. The caller was distraught and indicated at that time that was an apparent suicide due to a hanging had taken place and that rigor mortis had set in. The Sheriff's Office, as well as representatives of the Tiburon Fire Department and Southern Marin Fire Protection District were dispatched to the incident with emergency personnel arriving on scene at 12 p.m. The male subject, who was pronounced deceased by firefighters from the Tiburon Fire Department at 12.02 p.m., has been identified as Robin McLaurin Williams, a 63-year-old resident of unincorporated Tiburon, California. Preliminary information developed during the investigation by coroner division personnel has revealed Mr. Williams had been seeking treatment for depression. Mr. Williams was last seen alive by his wife at approximately 10.30 p.m. on August 10th, 2014, when she retired for the evening in a room in the home. It is unknown at this time when Mr. Williams retired for the evening in a bedroom in his home. At approximately 10.30 a.m. on August 11th, 2014, Mr. Williams' wife left the home, believing Mr. Williams to still be asleep. Mr. Williams' personal assistant became concerned at approximately 11.45 a.m. when he failed to respond to knocks on his bedroom door. At that time, the personal assistant was able to gain access to Mr. Williams' bedroom and entered the bedroom to find Mr. Williams clothed in a seated position, unresponsive, with a belt secured around his neck with the other end of the belt wedged between the, closet, the closed closet door and the door frame. His right shoulder area was touching the door with his body perpendicular to the door and slightly suspended. Mr. Williams at that time was cool to the touch with rigor mortis present in his body and liver mortis positioned appropriately for the position he was located in. The inside of Mr. Williams' left wrist had several acute superficial transverse cuts. A pocket knife with a closed blade was located in close proximity to Mr. Williams. The pocket knife was examined and a dry red material was located on the blade, excuse me, blade of the knife which appeared consistent to dried blood. It is unknown at this time if the dried red material is in fact blood or if it is Mr. Williams' blood, but scientific testing will be conducted to evaluate its investigative value. Mr. Williams was transported from the scene to the Napa County Sheriff's Office morgue by the coroner division pending a forensic examination which was conducted this morning prior to this press conference. The forensic examination conducted by Dr. Joseph Cohen, who is the Sheriff's Office for Marin County's Chief Forensic Pathologist, did not reveal any injuries indicating Mr. Williams had been in a struggle or a physical altercation prior to him being located deceased. The preliminary, and I again say preliminary, results of the forensic examination revealed supporting physical signs that Mr. Williams' life ended from asphyxia due to hanging. Toxicology testing will be conducted to determine if Mr. Williams had any chemical substances in his system at the time of his death. Toxicology results will be available, will, excuse me, will not be available for approximately two to six weeks while the testing is being performed. Please note that this is an active investigation into the cause, manner, and circumstances of Mr. Williams' death. The work of the coroner's office is not complete at this time. The final cause and manner of death will not be certified until the conclusion of the investigation, which is several weeks away. When the investigation is, is concluded and our final results are ready for dissemination, a press conference will be scheduled at that time. Additionally, I have received numerous requests for copies of 911 and dispatch recordings, as well as investigative reports. Please note each request will be handled in accordance with Public Record Act guidelines with responses provided to those who have submitted them within 10 days. 
Media inquiries should be continued to be directed to me, Lieutenant Keith Boyd, via my email at kboyd, which is spelled K-B-O-Y-D, at marinsheriff.org, M-A-R-I-N-S-H-E-R-I-F-F dot O-R-G. I will respond to these inquiries, time permitting, as I receive them. Please keep in mind, at this time, the coroner's division is also investigating active cases from other residents of this community. So I will respond to your inquiries, time permitting. Okay, that concludes my written statement at this time, and I will open up to take a few questions.